help a business owner that has a business that's wondering, well, what kind of conversation would I have? That would feel comfortable and, and real. Yeah, give us that. So, so here's, here's the process. So this is where you got to have a basic understanding of social media, right? So you're not going to waste your time there. This is very, very targeted, very strategic, but you need to figure out, first of all, what are going to be the main platforms that your customers are on or that your target customers are on, right? Mm -hmm. And I think today it's not too hard to figure out, you know, which are going to be the best options depending on your industry. So mm -hmm. you're going to go into those places and you're going to do searches. You're going to do searches that if I was interested in this product or in this service, what keywords would I use to search and who do I find that's talking about? that industry, that product, that service, my competitors. Good. And you're going to go into their pro. It's, it takes a little bit of time. You, you, you could outsource this to, you know, an internet research VA if you wanted to, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, you need to confirm, you know, what are these people talking about? Does it sound like they're talking about things that if they were to talk about my company, would it help me generate business at the end of the day? So here's a common one. Um, it, it, it's a case study. I, I forgot if I used it in my book or not, and this is more B2C, but it's, it's the same concept of a, uh, a, a, a female bodybuilder influencer on Instagram, had maybe 100,000 followers. So there's a, you know, a startup that makes uh, swimwear for female bodybuilders that, that is sort of suited for the bodybuilding body. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's female. It's like bikinis and stuff, right? So they partner together. But they didn't understand that 90% of that influencer's audience were males, <laughs> Yeah. who were just, you know, drooling over her, over her yeah. photos. So yeah. this is the type of misalignment. This is like that, that misalignment in Facebook ads, right? We know mm -hmm. not the strategy. So mm -hmm. this is what can happen. That's why you really need to take a deep look, but you're going to create a list of people, right? You're going to look at their content. You're going to look at, you know, well, this person's posting five times a day, but they're not getting any engagement. This person posts once every two days, but they get a heck of a lot of engagement. Let me check out some of the people. Let me check out some of the people commenting, right? And if you just spend a little bit of time you begin to create this list. And then the step two, once you figure out who are the people that seem relevant, you engage with them organically, right? You like their content. You comment authentically that, hey, we couldn't agree more. That's why we started a business around that concept or whatever it is, you follow them. And after a while, some of them may comment back. Some of them may follow you back, right? Mm -hmm. And now you've used what I call sending social signals to be able to break the ice. Hey, thanks for the follow. I just want to let you know, you know, really enjoy your work. I've developed this product that, you know, really is based around the same types of things that you talk about. Um, you know, I don't know. The, here's the thing, right? Because everybody is being uh, pitched to these days. So I don't know if you work with other businesses, but I'd like to have an open-ended conversation to see how we might be able to help each other. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing, right? This is, you know, businesses... You know, even as an entrepreneur, you have a network, you have assets, you have ways where you might be able to help influencers. So it's funny, there was this one company that I met at a conference right before we went on a lockdown and they're like a video marketing company. So they have a video marketing tool, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, it, you know, they, they sort of offered to, to shoot a video, like a professional video of me while I was at the conference. I'm like, that's awesome, right? And they gave me like, you know, one year free use of their tool. I'm like, you know, they, they, they're doing this the right way. And as I was talking to them, they're like, you know, Neil, any advice on how we can reach out to more influencers and what we can offer them? You know, we can only offer them like one year of the tool. And as I was talking to them, they're located in Silicon Valley and they have a professional video studio that's always open. I'm like, dude, why don't you, as you talk to influencers who do a lot of video, offer them your studio, offer them the ability to shoot videos there with your staff for free. That is something that a lot of influencers who want to do video would love to do. So these are the types of things as a business you begin to think about. It's like yet last night I was on a call with a client who is a realtor. His wife is a realtor. He used to do yacht parties. He was a caterer. And every summer in Manhattan, he do these yacht parties on the Hudson. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, invite influencers to your party. They'd love <laughs> You know, that, that's something that doesn't cost you money. So, so you know, th there's a lot of things as entrepreneurs that you have that you can, uh, maybe it's an introduction to someone, right? But this is the sort of open-ended conversation that probably in business as an entrepreneur, you've had these similar sorts of conversations, right? You want to get to someone, you want to get someone to that point where you can have that conversation. And in order to do that, do your research, send social signals, 
It's like a sale. You're not going to convert everybody. You're going to do this with a hundred people. Maybe only 10 people reach out back to you. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is why if some of those people are already following you, or if you start with your followers, that 10% conversion becomes 25, 35, 50% conversion. And, and you're going to build that pool faster. But if you wanted to do it the other way around, just who's talking about us, that would be the approach and just keep it open mind. Their people, you know, the worst thing you can do, which a lot of companies do is we're going to offer you like a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. If you share this photo or, you know, mm -hmm. first of all, you don't know what the market price is. Second of all, if the market price is a lot more than that, you have just, you know, truly um, offended that influencer who probably will never respond to you again in the future. Right. And number three, maybe they're not in it for the money. Maybe they're an entrepreneur as well. And they just want different things. So it, most brands just get it all wrong. They impose, they think of influencers as programmable ad units. Well, we'll hire influencers hundred dollars a pop and see what we can get. No, 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 no. Have an open ended conversation. How, what's in it for you? The basis of sales, W I I F M. I have a B2B sales background, which is why I bring all this up, but what's in it for me, right? What do they want out of a relationship? Right. So first right. of all, they have to have an interest in you. And if you've gone through this process of social signaling and you get a response, you know, at a minimum, they've checked you out and that they have a minimum amount of interest, which gives you the green light to at least, you know, we call it sliding into the DM or filling out their contact form and saying, Hey, is there a way we can work together? Love to have a, a short phone call with you and explore possibilities.